In honor of Earth Day, the city did their share in doing good for the Earth and hosted a recycling event. Jacqueline Sarkeesian was there to tell us all about it. South Bay recyclers did some spring cleaning over the weekend. I'm here recycling, getting paper shredded, um, recycling clothes, um, and electronics. Allison Castorco calls herself an avid environmentalist and was very excited when she heard Torrance's Public Works Department was sponsoring a citywide recycling event. Yes, we recycle at home and regularly put our recycled stuff in the bins for collection. Over 700 cars dropped off electronics, used clothing and shoes, motor oil, and engine filters. And the best part was they never had to get out of their cars. We brought in a professional organization that actually ha provides manual labor um, and they will help uh, offload the vehicles. Earth Day was first celebrated in 1970 to bring awareness in protecting the environment. Now it's celebrated in 192 countries and this is Torrance's third year having this recycling event. And so Earth Day became a big rallying point for recycling. So it's very successful, so we're doing it one more time. This event helps the city reach its goal of recycling 50% of their trash. And some of the proceeds collected from the electronics, shoes, and clothing will go to the Torrance Unified School District as well as help create clean water sources for developing countries. Taking a clothes and shoes with an organization, a nonprofit called Souls for Life, and what they do is they will either refurbish, resell, or recycle the clothing and shoes. Casterco, like most recyclers, was glad to know her unused things will better the environment, keep the earth cleaner, and save landfill space. Very excited about that. At the end of the day, 15 tons of electronics over 200 gallons of oil, 113 filters, and six truckloads of shoes and clothing were collected and recycled. And over 13 tons of paper was shredded. Reporting for Torrance City Cable, I'm Jacqueline Sarkeesian. Thanks, Jacqueline. The Public Works Department accepts donations and recyclables year-round. To find out more information, go to torrentca.gov slash publicworks. Another popular holiday was celebrated here in Torrance. Our reporter Anne-Marie Williams takes us to the annual Breakfast with the Bunny. Breakfast with Bunny has been a Torrance tradition for more than 20 years now. The purpose is family, uh, you know, uh, putting together a nice breakfast morning uh, for the kids and the families to get together and enjoy. Rita Eliaki has been coming to Breakfast with Bunny with her family for the past four years and always looks forward to the egg hunt. In the egg hunt you search for eggs and you might, you open them and there's like candy or some toys. They have so much uh, fun here and they're never bored of coming back. In addition to the egg hunt, the event also includes raffles, cookie decorating, singing, dancing, and a puppet show. Jim Gamble Productions puts on the puppet show for us, and they've been part of our program for many years and, you know, staple of the community. Catching with other kids, dancing and singing, um, I think that's the best thing that they like, you know, um, feel the event and um, dance and sing and run around. Out of all of the great activities today, Everyone has been looking forward to getting their picture with the bunny. A lot of kids ask, oh, you know, when, when's the bunny going to be here? And, you know, a lot of them get very antsy. Trying to find him and capturing him so I can keep him for myself. I think you just got to look around and see the kids smiling and then having a good time. The parents, you know, taking a ton of pictures and hopefully making memories that will be there for a long time. The Yaki family had a great time and will be back again next year to join other families for Breakfast with Bunny. For Torrance City Cable, I'm Anne Marie Williams. Thanks, Anne Marie. What a big turnout this year. There were 73 children who attended with their families. Students at one local elementary school were treated to an interactive assembly, and reporter Jacqueline Sarkeesian was there for this unique out of the classroom experience to tell us more. Students at John Adams had a very special visitor on campus. <laughs> 
Clarabelle is part of Mobile Dairy Classroom and plays a significant role in teaching kids healthy living habits. This is one way to make that connection between the cow, milk, and how milk and dairy play an important part of our nutrition. The free statewide program started in the 1930s to teach K-6 through grade students about the anatomy of a cow, where their milk comes from, and the importance of a balanced diet. <laughs> Mobile Dairy Classroom teaches kids to have a balanced diet, which includes having at least one serving of dairy with every meal. That accounts for 70% of your daily calcium requirement. I learned that a cow, how a cow produces milk and where it goes. Students also learned that they receive and drink the freshest milk. It goes from the farm to the processing plant directly here to school. So you guys are receiving milk in 24 to 48 hours. I'm hoping that it will encourage the kids to drink more milk uh, during the lunchtime here at John Adams. Students even got one-on-one -on -one time with a calf. The most exciting part was me petting the bull. Reporting for Torrent City Cable, I'm Jacqueline Sarkeesian. Thanks, Jacqueline. The Mobile Dairy Classroom also teaches students to exercise at least one hour a day. For more information on the program, go to healthyliving.org. One Torrance Orthodontist is changing lives one smile at a time. Our reporter, Anne Marie Williams, tells us more. Dr. Brian Noguchi spends his days perfecting people's smiles as an orthodontist. Story after story, I mean, these kids that w would not smile, uh, beaming, you know, ear to ear, you know. It's just a little confidence thing. Many people can't afford the orthodontic care they need. So Dr. Noguchi is giving back through Smile for a Lifetime. We've always wanted to give back in different ways. And uh, this came about in the right time and right place for us. And it just fits our philosophy the best. It's giving me a free scholarship and a Smile for a Lifetime. Joshua Holloman is a seventh grade student at Jefferson Middle School and the second recipient of Dr. Noguchi's Smile for a Lifetime scholarship which will provide his orthodontic treatment free of charge. He came so, so highly recommended by two or even three sources. I mean, it was just, uh, I mean, automatic. We are very thankful, me and my wife, to Smile on a Lifetime and uh, Mrs. Cho, the principal of Jefferson, yeah. and uh, uh, Dr. Noguchi for everything because it just came out of nowhere. And uh, it was just a blessing because we didn't expect it. And, and it was just, thank you. Thank you, God. Smiling at someone can make their day, but giving them the gift of a beautiful smile can change their life. I'm most excited about having a perfect smile. Before Holloman received this scholarship, he didn't feel confident about his smile. I'm hoping that through this uh, program and Josh receiving uh, the orthodontic care that he can um, definitely have a more positive um, attitude about learning and uh, positive self-esteem and how he relates to his peer group and uh, most importantly pay it forward. Holloman is already active in the community and is looking forward to donating time to his church. It's not a, um, a freebies. Uh, they need to earn it by uh, providing uh, services to the community and in other areas as well. Just volunteer at church, Kings Arbor Church, and um, just really like help out there because they gave to me too. Holloman began his treatment today and is on his way to the smile he always dreamed of, thanks to Dr. Noguchi and Smile for a Lifetime. For Torrance City Cable, I'm Anne Marie Williams. Thanks, Anne Marie. Dr. Noguchi's Smile for a Lifetime scholarship can be found at noguchiortho.com. Still ahead, we'll tell you where to see the mayor give his last state of the city address, plus a ride for kids that's not only raising funds, but saving lives. Think you found every hazard out here today? Think again. The spot you missed could be a killer. That spot on your skin could be skin cancer. If you're a man over 50, you're in a group most likely to develop skin cancer, including melanoma, the kind that kills one person every hour. That's why your best shot is to check for a spot. It's easy. Follow through and check your skin. Go to spotskincancer.org to find out how. A message from the American Academy of Dermatology. If you could see anything in the world, what would it be? I'd love to see Paris. I like to see cupcakes falling from
from the sky. To save your vision in the years ahead, call your eye doctor for a comprehensive eye exam today. Then call 1-800-437-2423 or log on to seeabettertomorrow.org to learn about glaucoma and macular degeneration. I just want to see more of the things I love. Welcome back, everybody. we got a lot of great events coming up. Here's a look at what's on the calendar. The Torrance Area Chamber of Commerce presents Mayor Frank Scotto's final State of the City Address. This takes place on Thursday, May 1st at the Torrance Marriott at 3635 Fashion Way. Doors open at 5.30 p.m. The cost is $75 per person. For more information or to reserve your seat, call 310-543-3113 or go to thetorrancechamber.com. Then on Saturday, May 3rd, the 9th Annual Edelbrock Car Show will take place at Vic's Garage at 510 Madrid Avenue. Enjoy a day of hot rods, great food, live entertainment, and meet fellow automotive enthusiasts. Anyone can register to participate. All makes and models are welcome. Show hours are 9 a.m. to 4 p.m. Spectator entry is free. On Sunday, May 4th, the Los Angeles Ride for Kids event supporting the Pediatric Brain Tumor Network will host its annual motorcycle ride. The event takes place at American Honda, located at 1919 Torrance Boulevard. Online registration is still open. All makes and models are welcome to ride for this event. The escorted ride starts at 10 a.m. sharp every day. 13 children in the U.S. will get diagnosed with the deadliest form of childhood cancer, and this event helps to raise funds for not only medical research but for family support programs. To participate, you can go to rideforkids.com. And I tell people, Julie, if uh, your kids are healthy, you're rich. That's so true. Now let's go out to the sports desk with Juan Hernandez for a sneak preview of what's to come. Juan, what do you have for us? Hi there. Welcome into the Sports Desk studio. This week on the show, we've got two baseball teams getting after it in the Pioneer League. Last year, we saw three teams share first place by the end of it all, and two of them are already giving us a good idea of what to expect down the stretch here. Also, summer's right around the corner, which means it's time for another Surfing for a Cure Surf Relay. Last year, South Bay Surfers helped raise over $14,000 to donate in the fight against cancer. Well, we've got an announcement on the show this week to make sure that number gets dwarfed this year. That'll be every day at 4, 6.30, and 9.30 p.m. right here on City Cable 3. We'll see you there. Well, that's it for us on This Week in Torrance. I'm Julie Chan. If you've missed any portion of our show, you can catch us again at 11 a.m. and 6 p.m. And I'm Ben McCain. Thanks for joining us. We'll see you next time.